How's that buffet treating y'all today? Oh yeah, everybody likes it. T-Bird, the ladies. In my old Kentucky home, good night. We've no more, my lady. Oh, we've no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky. What's happening, Stav Trav? This is Zach and Jen from Stivers Homestead. Thank y'all for joining today. So what do we got going on today? Um, well, we're doing day two of homeschool. Uh, we just got started a little bit ago. Got kind of a late start, but we're gonna knock it out and get it done. And Zach is going to work on the garden. Yeah, so if you cut our previous garden walk, uh, what was that, Monday? Yeah. We have a lot of fall starts that are right there almost ready uh, so we need to get our tilled garden area ready to rock and roll so basically what we're going to be doing is pulling up the butternut squash um, putting some more weed tarp down and actually another tarp because one thing we try to do here is be very very cost effective and using things around your homestead rather than always having to purchase unfortunately it's not always the case sometimes you do have to a little bit but we're going to use some things that we just have laying around to solve the purpose and get these weeds out of there and get it ready for fall that's right all right, well, I'm going to let her run back in, keep doing the homeschool, and y'all are going to run with me to this tilled garden. All right, we'll see you in a little while. Good luck. <laughs> okay, this is the part of the garden we're going to focus on today. So the, gar uh, the butternut squash did its job for us, gave us plenty of harvest that we'll have. Um, butternut squash is great to last throughout the year. Um, it lasts over the winter um, without even doing anything on it. However, Jen is going to can it because there is a process to getting these things ready. So canning it, we'll have it ready for an easy quick meal rather than having to process or oven bake or anything on the lines of that. So all of this right here is what we're gonna be working on. The first step is pulling up all of this butternut squash. I'm the eldest of a set Irish twins. I don't remember when life began. Plants gone. So they're all sitting right over here in the wheelbarrow. Got a lot of them. That was only about seven, eight plants, I think, of uh, butternut squash. And you saw how big they get. That's why a lot of people do them up a trellis or some form or fashion, not just on the ground like we did. Um, but we had plenty of room and that's what we wanted to use it for. So that's how we did it. But they gave you a good example of how viney they get. And it's just crazy how big they are. So next step is to go feed that scrumptiousness to the goats and the chickens because they'll love pecking on that and 
eating some of that stuff. It's perfectly fine for goats to eat the, the squash plants, so they like it. Um, and then we get to get to covering this up. We're gonna leave what the tarp that's already down. So the grass that you see is actually from just the gaps that's in here and just grew throughout the year. Um, so it's not a whole lot, but we wanna make sure we start completely fresh. Um, I might actually even throw some DE down underneath just to kind of help out with anything that might've been hiding in the grass or hiding on the squash plants because y'all know how them bugs like to be. How's that buffet treating y'all today? Oh yeah, everybody likes it. T-Bird, the ladies. Anna and Elsa, the Beckys. The Ganny's even up in this action. Y'all check it out, make sure ain't no bugs on it. If they are, you get them off. You hear me, chick chicks? Don't let them leave us pen. Enjoy. Okay, so I mentioned that um, we don't have, we didn't get any big tarp or anything like that uh, to do this job because really we just want to kill whatever's in there and just get it ready for fall. Uh, we could also just hand pick this out and then plant, you know, if we really wanted to. But we wanna make sure that we try to really get everything out and have a completely fresh start. So, without breaking the bank and doing this, um, we are using some of the tarp that's already down there. Get you on there. What is this? Weed Ender. We got this at the local Roll King. Um, it's super cheap, I think it's like three bucks or four bucks a roll and this is Get it, T-Bird. Covers 180 square foot. Um, it, it's not much at all. Um, it, I think it covers about two rows of it. So the other thing we're gonna use is one of my heavy duty tarps. Um, this is a, a Grizzly tarp. It's a 10 by 12 and it's actually, it's 10 mil thickness, which is pretty thick. Um, so that's gonna help a lot. It's, it's not just a, a regular old one that's gonna tear up. This one is pretty thick and it'll do the job. Um, so we're gonna use those two things together to uh, cover this little part of the area and have us ready for a fall garden. So you all hang on with me and we'll get this bad boy covered. With every single step and breath you take From the universe nothing abounds you You're like a gift sent from outer space my darling, I have dreamed of you forever I can't escape the truth of what I know It's taken many times for me to learn I know this garden's where I want to grow my life was like a seed of inhibition But now I feel like a flower in the sun All's been stripped away, I know for certain That the life I want to live has just begun My Gardens where I want to grow. Escape 
truth what I Alright, is it the prettiest weed tarped garden you've ever seen in your life? No. But will it work? Yes. And that's the main thing that we're worried about here. As you can see, my little heavy duty tarp over here, which is a 10 by 12, that's pretty good sized tarp, uh, didn't cover much at all because it's a pretty big size till garden. I don't know the exact measurements, but if that's 10 by 12, then I'm going to go ahead and say 20 by, maybe 20 by 20, 20 by 24. Something like that. So a pretty decent sized one half of our till garden area. Um, so if you look at it real quick, what I did was that fabric comes with little pins. So at the corners, I kind of doubled up, made sure everything was pinned down. Uh, and then you also see some grow bags everywhere. So one is Jen's chocolate mint that was holding the tarp down before. So we just repurposed that. Some others are the ones that had some pole beans in it and we just reused other things are rocks. Um, like I said, all the stuff I had besides one roll of that weed tarp um, to get this job done. Uh, like I said, you know, this is an important step because you want to have that fresh start. However, it's not a necessary step, so we definitely don't want to break the bank when doing so. Something like that. So this is going to be very effective. It'll kill it quick. Um, it really won't have any issues besides the tarp being cheap. The weed tarp being only four bucks a roll, those little pins don't hold it amazingly. So I might have to come back in here and redo it every once in a while. Um, and re-put a pan in because it's tore or whatever it is. But as long as it gets the bulk of the weeds gone, I'll be happy. Which, that's all we need, right? Okay, so that's a way that you can do it. Very cheap, very easy to get the same result. However, they do make things that are just perfect for this um, in all kinds of different sizes. It's thick, it's one piece, very easy. Um, good friends of ours at Heirloom Permaculture is actually building a brand new garden so they got the real thick uh, layer and then covered it with sandbags to really hold it down really well and it's doing fantastic and moving really fast it's a very thick plastic uh, so it's very impressive what that's doing this will definitely take longer uh, just because it's thinner it doesn't have as much oomph behind it to really kill everything down uh, so if you're definitely interested in that I know Haas Tools they uh, sell some plastic that's for this kind of stuff as well um, he actually did a video. It's a popular thing right now. People are getting this fall garden ready So there's a lot of videos of doing this covering uh, to be prepared for it um, He actually had a, a video where he had very very tall. I forget which uh, grass he had in there But he just pushed it down with this push mower didn't mow it pushed it down and then laid that top over it He did it all one person. It was a big one. Um, I'll actually link that down below uh, in the comments he hostels and uh, pumps out a lot of good videos um, very informative and they're just good good dudes so go check them out uh, let them know that we sent you over there but I hope you all enjoyed that you know these are the things that make me happy it seems like such a little tedious stuff um, but this is what I really enjoy doing um, I hope that at some point this can be all that I have to do but you know being 30 uh, wife two small kids payments everywhere debt everywhere uh, we're striving to be debt free and uh, to not have any of those things anymore uh, to where we can just be a much more simple life uh, and not have any of the complications especially with this crazy world uh, that we're living in um, it's nothing it's just don't watch the news folks it's crazy so just uh, be out in your garden enjoy your life enjoy your family do these small things that seem like they're not very fun it's kind of like putting electrical in a wall right it's the behind the wall stuff that's not pretty but it's nice to do and you got to do it uh, to have some of that good stuff later down the road so uh, I'm kind of rambling all over the place but I just wanted to express like how even something so small just being out here working knowing my kids and my wife's inside doing homeschool that's the stuff that makes me happy uh, it makes me enjoy life it makes me smile uh, all of us smile you always talk about how we're always smiling so much just because usually when you see us we're doing this garden stuff or with our animals or homeschooling or just different stuff with homesteading that stuff makes us happy. That's why we smile so much. So we love it. I hope you all love it. If you are trying to get to that dream and you're like, ah, 
I just can't. I'm living through these videos. That's okay too. Uh, dreams come true all the time. Uh, keep striving for it. If it's something that you really want, it'll happen. So until then, keep watching the videos. We'll keep pumping them out and we love y'all very much. So until the next one, y'all. Bye.